What is going on guys, your boy Sade, and I'm back here with another video. Gonna do another reaction video today. I got a lot of uh, positive feedback from that last video I did, the last reaction video I did, so we're gonna do another one. So today's video is, uh, I'm going to be rea reacting to this video called Who is the Happiest Bird in the World? by uh, Sean, I don't know how to say his last name, it's, I think it's Bura, Bura, Burahanirin. Man, I butchered the hell out of that, but um, yeah, so I'm going to react to this video, sipping on my pre-workout coffee, you know what I'm saying, because I'm getting ready to go to the gym, going down this before I go to the gym and do this video. Ah, all right, let's do this, man. Once upon a time, there was a crow that lived in a forest. One day, he saw a beautiful white swan, a family giving him food and taking pictures of him. So he thought to himself, that swan must be the happiest bird in the world. So he flew over to the swan and told him, you're so white and so beautiful, and I'm so dark. You must be the happiest bird in the world. How does it feel to be the happiest bird in the world? The swan replied, I used to think I was the happiest bird in the world until I saw a parrot. The parrot I saw had two colors, and I only have one. You should go and ask the parrot, what does it feel like to be the happiest bird in the world? So the crow flew over to the parrot and asked, how does it feel to be the happiest bird in the world? The parrot replied, I used to think I was the happiest bird in the world until I saw the peacock. The peacock has many colors, while I only have two. You should go and ask the peacock, how does it feel to be the happiest bird in the world? The last time I saw him, he was at the zoo. So the crow flew over to the zoo, and he saw hundreds of people taking pictures of the peacock. He waited until everybody left, and he flew over and asked the peacock, Dear peacock, you are so beautiful. Every day, hundreds of people come and visit you. But when they see me, they chase me away. You must be so happy. How does it feel to be the happiest bird in the world? And the peacock replied, I always thought I was the happiest bird in the world. But because of my beauty, I'm trapped in this cage. With all this time by myself, I got to notice that the only bird that is not placed in a cage is a crow. Damn. So the past few years I've been thinking to myself, the crow must be the happiest bird in the world. Free to roam wherever he wants. Ironic. So my friend, I must ask you, how does it feel to be the happiest bird in the world? Wow. The cycle of comparing ourselves to other people is a never-ending cycle. The game where we'll we talk. compare ourselves to other people is a game that we can never win. In the end, the person that is satisfied with what they have is the happiest person in the hmm. world. I think it's okay to strive to improve the quality of life, but if you're doing it and you are not seeing the value of what you have, I think that is a mistake. But if you strive and also see the value in the things that you have already, that's absolutely fine with me. So maybe what we can do today is think about three things we may have overlooked and be thankful for them. You may have your health. You may have time to spend with your family and friends. You may have time for your hobbies. You may have just started doing something new chasing your dreams so don't compare your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 20. if we're running in a race and we focus on the people running beside us or ahead of us you may lose motivation you may slip and fall just by looking at them so the best thing to do is to just focus on yourself and run your race uh, uh, your on point because your finish line is not in the same place as everybody else's. I hope this story can help you or somebody that you love. My name is Sean Puranahira. Puranahira, that's how you say his name.
It's the end of the video. All right, so wow, that was a, it's a pretty powerful video. That was a very good message, man. Very good message. Um, the whole time, I mean, the story of the bird kind of relates a lot to, uh, you know, our lives. Like he said at the end, I feel like a lot of times we tend to compare ourselves to other people, especially during this day of age of social media, man. You know, it's so easy just to get caught up in what everyone else is doing, what everyone else is doing in their lives. Because, you know, nowadays you can just jump on your phone, go on your timeline real quick and see what everyone, everyone else is doing. And that can be very, like you said, it's a very dangerous road, man. You know what I'm saying? Comparing yourself to other people because then you start, you know, not valuing, valuing yourself and valuing what you have in your own life. Which is, you know, very important, man. That's why most people get kind of depressed. is because, you know, they never see their own value in their own life. And they're always looking at other people's, um, you know, you know uh, social media accounts or their lives. And just comparing it to them. When in actuality, that's totally flawed. It's not, you know, comparisons are flawed, guys. When you look at it, you know, you never know what that per other person is going through. You never know what, what they went. Just because they have a couple of nice things doesn't mean they have a perfect life. You know what I'm saying? They could be in debt. They could have a horrible relationship with their wife or their family. You know what I'm saying? There could be something, another side of their life that they're not showing you. You know what I'm saying? Social media can, you know, most people on social media only show you the good side of them. You know what I'm saying? You know, we get to pick and choose what we post on our channels, on our uh, Facebooks, on our social medias. And, you know, it, it just makes it seem that we have a wonderful, wonderful life when in actuality we don't. You know what I'm saying? And I, I've talked about this on my channel before. It's just, you know, you know, focus on yourself. Don't, you know, uh, you know, it's pretty hard. It's pretty uh, easy to say, but it's very hard to do. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, make sure, you, you know, you're focusing on yourself. And like he said in the video, I think it's okay to be inspired by other people and look up to people. But when you start comparing yourself to other people, that's when it starts getting into a dangerous road. That's a very solid, solid message. Very important one. I think it applies to all of our lives, man. It's very deep. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you guys have any other uh, reaction videos you want me to do in particular, let me know. I'll be, I'll be down to do it. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and holla back at your boy. Peace.